What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Fate Extella. So the story may be over, but we still have an epilogue to view. And I'm going to go ahead and say this right off the bat, I apologize if I sound like shit, I did not get my normal vocal warm-up out of the way this morning, and that's because this is literally a rushed uh, last minute recording, because today is actually Thanksgiving. Uh, and I'm going over to some some places to celebrate it, so yeah. And also I hope that when, the, when you guys receive this video, whenever it comes out, think it's coming out in March, March or April, it's one, no, March or February, it's one of those two, I don't remember which, uh, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, I hope everything was good, I, I hope that one family member didn't drink, drink like he usually does, he or she usually does, hope you had some good family moments, and, eh. speaking of family moments, uh, let's check out the epilogue, with Nero and Tamo probably still fighting over, um, over the main character. Your face says it all. Could it be that you are bored of this peaceful seraph? Forgive me, I jest. After all, I am the finest instrument ever forged, but my swordplay shines brightest when I am played by you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, very poor choice of words. <laughs> I feel the same way you do. Even though we cherish the peaceful days we have earned, the idea of letting our skills rust away is troubling, is it not? She took the words right out of my mouth. She's right. It wouldn't be a bad idea to brush up on our skills. Of course, I enjoy chatting with Saber in my room as well. Which should we do today? When you put it that way, I know not which to choose. I love doing both. I love being at your side and laughing as we speak of this, that, and nothing. Just as I love holding hands and racing through the battlefield as though it were a sea of flowers. Both are wonderful and I love them equally. So is it not a bit cruel of you to suddenly leave all the decision making up to me? No. Now let's fight. <laughs> then let us race the stage of conflict as we once did to the battlefields of Seraph. We can return to any of the grounds upon which we fought before. Do you already know where you wish to go? Very well. Then let us prepare. We shall fight against the recreated data of our powerful enemies and prove yet again that the future of Seraph is in safe ha safe in our hands. Yeah. I did max out her bond. Uh, in case anyone was wondering, I actually thought for these, um, for these moments, or some of them, I had to max out Ta uh, Tamo as well. Um, I was wrong. Special My Room event. <sighs> the life returns to my body. Truly, I am revived. Why do you look so surprised, my Praetor? <clears throat> <laughs> By revive, did you think I had regained my human form? I am merely repeating a saying from the Far East. <laughs> but this heat reaching to the depths of my being, the waves of hot water gently caressing my flesh, this is heavenly. I am melting. <laughs> this heat truly warms me to the bone. Now I understand how this could replenish the vigor of one long deceased eggs. Oranges. What? Wait, eggs and oranges? Maybe something in her head really did melt if nonsense like that is leaking from her brain. I don't think it means anything. It's not like I can focus on a single thing Saber is saying right now anyway. Because, God forbid, <laughs> she's naked and I don't know how to focus on anything else. <laughs> Women, am I right? Always being sexy. That was sarcasm, by the way. Man should be able to control himself around a woman, no matter if she's naked or not. Beautiful or not. If all you see your woman as is a sex object, then you have a problem. A beautiful flower in full bloom floats on the water surface, inciting within my reach. And yet you have no self-control to try and stop yourself. Yeah. I'm glad to see you really are just a shell for the fate for the uh, fate fan base to project yourself into. 
to put it bluntly, Saber, uh, Saber is there, extremely close to me. And she's in the bath, after all, which means she is properly dressed for the situation. She makes no effort to hide herself in front of me. This excitement, it's almost too much. Yeah, you, sh you and Shiro apparently have no concept of excitement. And it's not even that she's the opposite gender. No, I'm flushed because the person in question is my one and only Saber. Uh-huh. Yeah, good cover there, but no. No, 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 no. I don't buy it. <laughs> Whatever is the matter, my Praetor. You rarely display such agitation. What is there to be embarrassed about? Surely bathing is not a new experience for you? Also, exper ex also extremely close, she's on the other side of the bath. I am accustomed to this. Rome, a land where flames dance beneath the earth like the blood of so many stars, had hot springs in abundance. It is my belief that the heated waters from the depths of the earth all pulse with power, star power, su suffusing the planet with energy. Star power? Oh man, now we know the real source of Mario's power. Hot springs. And so, bathing in the heated waters of the earth is akin to being enveloped in the lifeblood of the stars. That makes sense, is what I think, but I still can't stop my heart from beating even faster. My face is hot, my ears are hot, my entire body feels like it's on fire. I feel like I'm in danger of getting heat sick if I stay in here for too long. On her end, Saber is as unflinching as ever. How long have you guys been together? You think you'd be used to this by now? I mean, it's clear that they that they that they cite that they've been through the Holy Grail War. They've been through the events of Triple C. How is he not used to this by now? Uh, let's, here we go. I'm reminded of the stories about nobles throughout history who shamelessly showed others their naked bodies because they were so used to having servants. Tend to their every need, up to and in including dressing and bathing. Or so I thought. Unexpectedly, Saber's face seems to be turning red. <laughs> what is it, my Praetor? You look so concerned. <laughs> Could it be that I failed to acknowledge my limits? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, my Praetor. I... I seem to have become dizzy from the heat. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Dizzy from the heat? I catch Saber's body as she starts to slide into the water. Naturally, our bodies come close together. I think whatever gods are watching for my miraculous good luck. <laughs> this just happened the way it happens, so as far as shame's concerned, I have nothing to worry about. Everything is okay. Why would you be ashamed of... You know what? I'm done here. I'm done trying to think about this. I got shit to do today. I just need to ignore my furiously pounding heart. Okay, first I have to drag Saber out of the bath, and then I need to get her some cool water. W wait, my Praetor. Please, if you would wait just a moment for me. This is... that thing. What do you call it? Ah, yes. Mana deficiency. It would be that my mana supply has been depleted. But we're safely within the confines of my room. The recovery functions of the regalia ensure that my room has not only the power to heal our wounds, but to recover our mana as well. Aw oh, man, no sex mana transfer. Damn! So there's no way she could be out of mana. In fact, it could be that she's taken in too much mana, and that's why she feels like she's heat sick. <laughs> We've fought through battle after battle. Perhaps my mana is not recovering quickly enough. How troublesome. I was certain that I would recover given the bath's healing properties, but I suppose it won't be that easy. And so, my Praetor... Our eyes meet. Her gaze is different than usual. Her eyes like liquid emeralds. In my vast wisdom, I am aware of a method... God damn it. No! Stop trying to make... You literally wrote this out! You literally wrote this out with Rialta Nua. Why do you keep trying to re-reference it in everything? 
hey man, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that sex mana transfer shit from uh, Fate Stay Night with Rialta Nua. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Hey, let's keep re-referencing that sex can give you mana. Somehow. Wait. Or is all, oh, you know what? Shit to do. Don't care. I am aware of a method to provide one servant with mana most directly. <laughs> and if you are possessed of sufficient willpower, I will allow you to attempt it. <laughs> Wait, that means my mind is all scrambled. A haze forms at the edge of my consciousness. Maybe I've gotten dizzy from the heat of the water as well. Saber's uh, porcelain skin has dyed the color of roses from being in the hot water for so long. She's on fire. I can tell how overheated she is just by touching her. I feel like her skin burns even hotter than the water surrounding us. I can't escape from this. I can't turn away from her eyes, so focused upon mine searching for something within. Our fiery skin, our sizzling lips. Sure, I'll trust Saber. Why not? I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is not my intent to oppose upon you, so... I could never have predicted such a turn of events. I must have let my guard down at a critical moment. But you, my pray, but you, my praetor, are the only one to whom I can entrust everything. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing, Miss Saber? I sense some sort of an evil presence, and so I snuck in, only to stumble upon this? To think that you would be so brazen in this place of healing. Yeah. Even if you can get a hand out with this cheap trick these days, the sun will not forgive your crimes. I will protect the sanctity of Seraph. Yeah. But all that aside... <laughs> Sneaking around behind my beautiful, adorable back? How rude. Irreprehensible, even. I should arrest you on the grounds of not playing fair. Man, were it so easy. <laughs> if I were the judge and jury, I'd execute you on the spot. Besides, aren't you full of mana already? You were there all along, Tamo? And you're sitting here bathing so nonchalantly. Did I not notice you because you were using some kind of curse or spell? <laughs> I don't know why, the way she said that made me giggle. <laughs> You've completely ruined my glorious plan to receive mana directly from the source. <laughs> However, it is no lie that my mana supply has run dry. It, Tomo, forgive me for troubling you. But if you could use your spells and quickly improve the efficiency of the mana pathway between my Praetor and I, that would be splendid. Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> She's sinking! Wait, was she seriously out of mana? <laughs> Indeed. I balk at no opportunity, no matter how dangerous. Look well upon the resolute spirit of a maiden, although perhaps I was too resolute. Well, that happened. Next. <laughs> I would like to go on a picnic. <laughs> I realize that may seem abrupt, but do you not fancy the idea, my Praetor? The Mighty Emperor is known for her sudden moments of inspiration. Most of them tend to be good ideas, though. Most? In fact, going on a picnic sounds wonderful, but where would we go? The Millennium Capital, maybe? You have stayed abreast of our continued investigations into the new Seraph, yes? Archer has informed me of a new territory which is growing as we speak. Moreover, he mentioned an intriguing place within. My beloved Rome subjects on Roman subjects on Seraph have taken to calling it the Norse area for the time being, but... Apparently it is a land of fire and ice. Both elements are abundant in, na in nature, yet it is curious for them to coexist in the same place. What say you, my Praetor? Is your interest not piqued? I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. A windy land, a fire and ice seems strangely poetic, like something straight out of mythology. That kind of scenery does sound exciting to see. 
And I feel like Altera would be happy if we took her there. Yeah. Yes, yes, my thoughts exactly. It's a shame Altera basically just got written out of the... It is not part of any of these as far as I know because they have no model for tiny Altera. I wish to show her many things. I want her to see Seraph not as a mere battlefield, but as the brave new world of Extella. I intend to seize every opportunity I can I can to accomplish this goal. Thus a picnic came to mind. It is not is it not a magnificent idea? It's exactly as you say, my esteemed emperor. Our thoughts are totally in sync. I want the uh, I want the Altera that was born from all that wreckage to see Seraph not as a place of conflict, but as a living, breathing world. I want her to see everything that grew out of the Holy Grail War. Thank you for basically just repeating what she just said. In her current state, Altera is no different from a small child. One could even call her a babe. There remains a disp dis disparity. Disparity between the development of her body and the age of her mind. But someday the two shall coalesce. Let us bestow upon her all the knowledge we can to prepare her for when that time comes. Yes, and yet how curious it is for a servant to grow. Of course, I grow stronger by the day simply by having my beloved Praetor at my side. But I still cannot compare my own progress to Altera's. She is as a child, growing day after day at a truly astonishing rate. I wonder what sort of servant she will grow up to be. Will she be like the Altera we once knew, or will she blossom into something altogether unique? I guess it depends on how we raise her. <laughs> yes, that's right. Indeed, you speak truly. The fate of that girl rests in our hands. You do understand, my Praetor. We may be master and servant, but in this situation... Oh, dear God, no. <laughs> the two of us may as well be Altera's, Altera's parents. We... Here we stand, suddenly thrust into the storm of child... Child rearing? And you know exactly what that means, do you not? <laughs> Sleepless nights and not a lot of money? Well, is that really it? It was just those two? And then all the stages are clean, cleared. Alright. Yeah. That. That is the epilogue. That was, uh... That was a thing. That was a thing. And with that, that concludes the entire main story. So, I have one more bonus episode to come out beforehand, but... Next time... Next time... We begin the side stories. Where we finally get to play as other characters. And next time, well... Your heart is mine. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta.